growing up, we were always taught to take care of the, the land and the earth and that I would take care of you. My grandma really did teach us that you you can smell when the salmon are coming and you can smell on the beach when the high bush cranberries are ready. Not taking too much and taking the amount you can use, those are native values and that if we don't understand it and we haven't been taught that, life's going to teach you that. Across Alaska, there is a network of 28 million acres of land that represent some of the largest intact landscapes left in the country. These vast and undeveloped stretches of land interconnect the critical ecosystems that support native communities, drive state economy, and mitigate climate change. The village of Igyagig is in southwest Alaska. When we say Iriyagagmiut, that means we belong to the place where Lake Iliamna is swallowed by the Quijak River. This land provides our food source, our fresh water, our culture, our identity. These lands are the epitome of what a healthy ecosystem looks like. Our tundra holds our medicines, it holds our foods, it holds our berries. When I see the salmon running, I look out there and I'm, I'm thankful that, that my family's gonna eat in the winter. Right now, these lands are at risk from industrial development that would devastate the crucial habitats that Alaska Native tribes depend on for traditionally harvested foods and our way of life that has thrived for millennia. In our way of life, if you know something, you have to pass it on. And if there is one thing the Iriyagagamiut know, it is how to sustain in place. Why should we give over stewardship of our lands to extractive economies? You know, we are the best caretakers of our land. We have a once in a generation opportunity to ensure that Alaska's homelands remain protected. We are the clear waters of the Quijak. We are the deep blue of Nanbukbuk. We are the lush green of the tundra. <laughs>